Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Caden with the Varnish team, and today we'll be going over the final presentation for Varnish. Varnish is a stealth puzzler where you are an artist trying to get your art into a gala through some unique means, by interacting with paintings, i.e. jumping through them, and interacting with them by pulling objects out of them and using them for um, puzzles that allow you to get towards the end. Let's get started. So it starts you off on this first night at the entrance to the gala, and let's head left as there will be a guard positioned here. You can see the guard projects a light out of his lantern, and you don't want to get caught by one because they'll probably throw you out or get you caught and put into prison. So let's get his attention to show how the AI chases you through some of these obstacles here. They enter an alert phase, we can use our dash to try and get away, and they'll continue to chase. And if they manage to come into contact with you, that counts as a lose state. Let's start it again at the beginning of another night and see if we can't get this guard's attention one more time. It'll speed up towards us if it has an inclination that we might be around, i.e. if we have noise, but as you can see, we were in the lantern light for a little bit too long, and that counts as a loss condition. This guard is very keen on his job, so we're going to use a few dashes to try and keep our distance from him, and we're going to hide uh, by varnishing into a painting, grabbing this crowbar just because we can, and coming out and seeing that he has obviously lost uh, us as we are far too sneaky for him. Later on in the night, let's sneak past this garden, head up towards the northern area, just showing off a little bit more of this varnishing. Let's take this apple, it might prove useful later, but we're going to grab that and we're going to head back down south, going past this main guard here, none the wiser, passing by the entrance once again and then sneaking past this guard. One thing that you will notice is that the light around the main character is the noise, uh, or at least it represents the noise that the character creates. So if you're around a guard for too long, or at least that light is around a guard for too long, they become um, alerted. Let's take this crowbar and see what we can't do with it. We've got an apple, but that seems less useful. There's a guard over there, so let's not head in that direction. But there's a box right here, so let's use that newfound crowbar to break that box and try and get up to the second floor. Up on the second floor, guess what? More guards, but additionally, another painting. Let's head inside and see what we can't find. A mop. That's an interesting one. <laughs> Let's continue heading uh, back downstairs to see if we can't find a use for this. I know we passed by some brighter colors earlier on. Let's use a crowbar to get out of this small corner, sneak past this guard real quick, and see if this mop has anything to do with those bright colors that we saw earlier. Lo and behold. That's a health hazard, we gotta clean that up, make sure that we can get past without leaving any footprints. Sneak past this guard up here, and look at that, a statue conveniently placed that seems to be blocking our pathway. Let's head over here to see if we can't do anything about it. This painting says, Apple of My Eye. Oh, that works. And that sound indicates that you solved a puzzle of some sort. So let's head up to the top floor and see what the spoils are. Ah, our art that we wanted to get inside of the next gala. There it goes. After depositing our art inside of the gala, that counts as a total win, and that is what you set out to do. So that is Varnish. My name was Caden. I am the project lead, and I do the sound design. The music that you're hearing currently is called Victory, uh, written by me for, the, for Varnish. Kelsey Rushing did 2D character uh, art as well as being an animator. An amazing job um, of all of it. Richard Vanderhoof was the programmer. Uh, there are two of them. So Richard Vanderhoof was uh, one of the programmers, and uh, Christer, Christian Fontanez was the um, level designer. James Davis was the 2D background artist. Connor Nolan was the UI designer and the graphic designer. Logan Weber was the level designer, and finally Aaron uh, C.A., who was the other programmer. I feel like everyone did a fantastic job, and uh, thank you for um, hanging on with us. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks.